sorry Taurus, my um, battery went funny then. This is part two of your reading. Um, as I was saying, I was on, I am here helping you. So it says you believe that there wasn't enough of this or that to go around. I competed with others, including you, to get my ego and physical needs met. Now that I am here, I also realise that the colossal waste of time and energy that was. So I am balancing out my old selfish, selfish ways with my new and improved energies that are completely focused upon selfless giving. When you accept my gifts, you allow me to accomplish this and you therefore are giving back to me as I grow and learn. We are soulmates. I sincerely apologise for any pain I inflicted upon you at each moment. I was doing the best I could at times. I felt very short of my potential. I hope that you will release any anger that you are holding toward me for your own sake, not for mine. I hope that in some ways I help you to grow and to learn. I have no more Ill earthly worries. Thank God that I have no more earthly worries and I can now express myself fully to you as I truly am. Now that I no longer am concerned about others, the judgments and don't stress about money, work or day-to-day -day life, I'm completely carefree. There's no such thing as death. I am conscious and fully aware of who I am and where I am. You might even say that I am more aware now than I am free of the distractions of the physical world. Please know that I am happy and healthy in a spiritual sense in many ways. I am even more available to you than I was on earth because I am more alive than ever. I have become one of your guides. As one of your spirit guides, my role is simply to love you. All of the love that you receive from your many angels and guides is your shield that safeguards you at the face of stress and fear. Our collective love is healing, guiding and protective. And know that you can call upon me or any of your angels or guides or assistants for comfort. We are always here for you. Life is a series of choices. Choose love. By making the right choices, you welcome abundance into every aspect of your life and I want nothing more than for you to be happy. So with every choice you make, stay true to your nature and choose love. Fear separates, love unites. From over here, I will try to remind you to always attempt to see love in all you do. That way you can live a happier and more fulfilling life on earth. My mind is free. If I could only go back into the body for five minutes, I'd apply this new knowledge to show you how a worry-free mind creates and attracts a worry-free life. This knowledge has completely released me from the bondage of earthly concerns. This is my greatest lesson and one that I hope to impart to you. Give all your worries to heaven and never hang on to them. Be free of worries and you'll find the greatest riches of them all. We have been together in dreams. These experiences are very real. Your soul is traveling while you dream and I meet you at a similar vibrational level where we can talk, share and heal together. These dream connections makes me as happy as they do to you. I'm also delighted to help you understand their meaning in our conversations. There is no time where I am. Time is only on earth. We don't measure time as you do because time is a figment of the physical world. On earth, it is used to compare past, present and future. Where I am now, only the present exists for all eternity. My love and care for you is also timeless and eternal. Okay, 
to see what um, guidance messages you have here. Be proud. So it is time to celebrate all that you achieved, all that you are and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it is important to stop and acknowledge what you achieved and to be proud. Soul power. Always remember you're a soul that comes with a body and you're a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today. Repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. A mother's love. Mother's love is reaching out to you at this moment and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and she wants you to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. Inspire passion. So life devoid of passion can be boring and inspired. A blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. Self love. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It is a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind and soul. Hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they know that you are at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. listen you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone now is not the time to be offering advice but to be compassionate listener to listen fully and intently means to pay attention not just to what has been said but what lies beneath the words connected so we are all born connected to spirit often known as the divine source yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in a physical world now is the important time to reconnect to the source Vulnerability. So this is a confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown and familiar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. love a father's love for his son or daughter never dies the strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable in that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason whether your father is still here or past father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will experience into your life for many different reasons some you learn from and then they move on while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals others remain beside you throughout your entire life 
okay then so if you have any messages uh, any questions sorry then please feel free to ask them now while i shuffle the cards We have there's something better. A year from now, let go. Success. No. Opportunity. Okay, so then we have if you believe recovery, helpful people, compromise, and the last one is forgiveness. If there's any other questions you would like to know, um and you want some answers about it then feel free to say some now likely I don't understand depends on the day surely not maybe certainly might be no throw away not ever, not not even a little bit, sorry. It is guaranteed. Last one we have, that would be a Y-E-S. Okay then for us, so that is your reading. Please take whatever you can resonate. If you enjoy my videos and you want to see more, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time, take care.